I'll tell you the story of the moth and his flame, but promise that you'll try to keep it quiet. The lady was a honeybee with marriage as her aim, and he lived on a fabricated diet. Now the moth told the bee, come on, honey, marry me, so tomorrow wedding bells will surely ring. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding, and today's the day that wedding bells will ring. In a suit of fancy clothes, we find our boyfriend in a doze. Twas a zoot suit with a neat pleat nicely stitched. Get up, you lazy creature, eat your breakfast, find a preacher. Cause at three o'clock today, you're getting hitched. Oh, happy day! She cried and cried and cried. Oh, where, oh, where has her little moth gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Oh, my gosh, it's half past three. So our little pal, the moth, who was fed up with a cloth, decided he was late and how he ran. Ah, but a big black widow spider dropped beside him with a bang. And with hungry eyes, she cackled. Look, a man!
especially, she stings. My hero. Oh, shucks. Twerk, nothing. So they built a little nest, and they settled in the vest, and lived happy ever after on the cuff. But you know, folks, I never could understand what that cute little bee could see in that silly moth. Mm, what a dope. Mm. Oh, yeah! Good morning. Good morning.
folks. You know, I reckon a lot of you people out there are sort of wondering about us here on the farm during this war. Well, I want you to know that we're prepared for any emergency. Yes, yeah, sir, sure. just like the city folks. Now, take this farmer here. Why, he's heard and read about them there incendiary bombs. You know what he's done? He's even trained his pet dog to help put out the fires. Here's his dog just about to go into action. He's a full-blooded Spitz. <laughs> Now take this here cow, for instance. Why, you know, she's increased her production and she's now given 5,000 quarts of milk a day. And it seems like a lot of milk, but 5,000 quarts is what she gives. Gives nothing? They come in and take it from me. <laughs> what a performance! Well, look who's here. It's old Tom. You know, old Tom is about the oldest cat in these here parts. Yes, sir. Why, he's been around for the last three wars, and he knows that this one will turn out all right, too. Uh, say now, would you look at that? A teeny little woodpecker. Now, I bet you I know what he's aiming to be when he grows up. I reckon he plans to be a riveter at Lockheed. Look at the tat's tail. Ooh. Did I do? I did a whipping. I do it. You know, we American people always sort of look forward to Thanksgiving. And this year is certainly no exception. This year, Turkey is getting fattened up. Oh. Yes, sir. He's getting lots to eat. And you know what? When he reaches 20 pounds, he'll be ready for the oven. 20 pounds? Oh, oven. You know, uh, these turtle eggs, they've been laying around in the sun for quite a spell, and, uh, well, what do you know? Looks like they're getting ready to hatch. I do it at the end. <laughs> Well, as I was saying, these little turtles are born with a natural bomb-proof shelter on the backs. Ain't that cute? Hey, what in the world has come over that? Hey, little feller, what do you think you are? Beep, beep. I'm a jeep! Jeep, jeep! <laughs> well, now that we're back on the farm, uh, <laughs> let's sort of peek in on a young fella who's a court in his sweetie. Maria, Elena, uh, 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 would you be my, uh, the, uh, uh, would, would you like me? Oh, no, no, no. Would you be my... Oh, gosh. I wish there was a blackout. Uh-oh. Oh, blackout! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Blackout! Blackout! I just don't know what has come over the caterpillars. Just seem to lay around and look glum. Well, would you look at that little feller? He sure looks happy, don't he? Happy? Of course I'm happy. I just got a rage red. <laughs> uh, these little fireflies here are going to stage a practice blackout. Looks like they're set to go. Okay, lights out. Hey there, turtle. You better pull into your shelter. It's a blackout. Nope, I did nothing out. Pull your head in. That's better. Why in the world didn't you want to go into your shell? Well, uh, I'm afraid of the dark. All right, fireflies. Blackout's over. Hey, you. You on the end. Yes, you. What happened to your light? Hey, who's the boat 
snatcher? Who's the boob snatcher? Did you ever see a prettier sight than this here mother bird? She is a teaching her little son how to fly. It's very easy, darling. Just flap your wings like this. See? Come on now. Do as mommy did. Ah, Ma. I want to be a dive bomber. <laughs> I guess about the only living creatures that haven't been affected by the war are the famous swallows of Capistrano. Yes, sir. As you all know, these here birds return to the mission on a certain day each year, and we're here just in time to see them come back. They'll be along any minute now. Telegram for the audience. What does it say? It says here, we are out over the ocean. Can't even get close to land. We can't fly to Capistrano. Past the fourth interceptor command. Signed the Swallows. Now you folks all know how valuable carrier pigeons is in wartime. I do it. <laughs> As I was saying, about them there carrier pigeons, well, now this proud couple is famous around these parts. During the last war, they gave more sons to the service than was ever thought possible. Well, more. We did it before, and, and we, we can, can do it again, again. and, and we, we will do it again. Happy Barnyard some years ago, a seemingly unimportant event occurred which was destined to vitally affect the future of that little world. Mr. and Mrs. Duck were expecting. <laughs> And so time passed. Hey, bud, not so fast. Oh, all right. But time does fly, don't it, Johnny? <clears throat> time passed. The bad egg grew to, ma to duckhood and with artistic aspirations dreamed of brush and palette, but ended up with only the brush. They don't know what to be real. His artistic efforts spurned, he soon turned to other endeavors. Und vergess nicht, you dopes! Ich bin der aufgeblosende Fresh in Deutschland! In alle Europa! Ja, in der ganzen Welt! My mama done told me. Stay heil! And there were some gullible ones who listened. Especially one goose. More gullible than gooses. Goose, goose, geese, mice, mice, goose, geese usually go. That's all right. That's the real stuff, kiddo. He's a smart fellow with brains, huh? Like a me. South Germany. I'm a sick hiler too. The commands are going down. Say, don't know what Tote frotte, tote frotte, and all kinds of whips of cream and a wall of nuts.
come to so erase all thoughts of peace from off this place? Have they forgot tis love that's right and not is gain by show of might? From out of the west came another partner to make a silly axis of himself. I, a Japanese, a sap, a man, sneaking on with a do. Uh, just a Japanese, a sap, a man, I'm a little crazy too. Oh, I am not a Japanese son of gun. Yeah, and I'm Mock Turtle Soup. With spreading clouds of war, once more the Axis march toward dreams of further conquest. One, two, button of my shoe. Three, four, shut down a robot door. Five, six, see him over the sticks. Seven, eight. of peace. Forestall this fight. Kind sirs, change your warlike. and say, there's three that didn't get away.